be like, is it nice? Like, will I smell good? <laughs> Should I spend my money on it? Class and elegance in a bottle. I said it. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ade and if you're brand new then of course you're most definitely welcome and if you're returning back then thank you so much for coming back to watch another video here on my channel. So today guys I am coming to you live and direct with a fresh new Latafa haul. It's been a little while since I have gone to my beloved Latafa and I thought it's about time to just like have a little scout around see if they've dropped any new gems that I haven't tried yet. Um, obviously traipsed YouTube to see whether there were any reviews on some of the fragrances that I found and um, some of them available, some of them not so many available, but I thought I'd bring them to you because I am just excited to get back into it really. So um, I guess I should just like get on with it. But before I do so, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then please make sure you do. It does help me out quite a lot. And of course, I really want you to join the fragrance family, which is slowly growing. And yes, you're most definitely welcome to join us. So yeah, without further ado, let's get this video going. So uh, let me start with, do you know what? It's in no random order because I think I've hit a bit of jackpot, to be honest, guys, when it came to this haul, because it was touch and go. I'm not gonna lie, it was touch and go. Some of these fragrances had very mixed reviews, and I was a bit like, oh, Ade, you are living life on the edge. But yeah, here we are. So let me just start off with the first one, Yara. This fragrance is, people have really sang and danced and jumped up and down on the internet for this fragrance, and I was like, why haven't I tried it yet? So of course. I had to go and try it and honestly it for the most part most people have described this fragrance correctly it's giving like a strawberry lotion kind of vibe and also very very creamy it's fruity um, but not overly fruity it's one of those very easy reaches so you know if you're looking for a fragrance that you don't really want to have to think about every day perfect when you come out of the shower this is absolutely stunning so this is Latafa Yara. Let's move on to the next one. Actually, do you know what? I'm also gonna move on to the ones that I've had before and decided to like rebuy and repurchase. Just so that you guys know, like when I say that I really, really love a fragrance, like I really, really, really love a fragrance and I'll always repurchase it if I really like it. And at this price point, why not? So tried and tried and tested. And still nobody. Oud Mood by Latafa. This fragrance will always be. This fragrance will always be. I'm definitely going to do like my top five Latafa fragrances because this fragrance house is doing bits and bobs. And of course, it's been a while. Oh, it's been a while since I have smelt this fragrance because I left my last bottle at home when I was moving back here. And honestly, ever since I've been saying to myself, yes, I'm going to get another one. I'm going to get and each time I just buy something else. But this time in this Latafa haul, I was just like, no, no, I'm not going to let this one pass me by. And of course, she stays tried and true. And like, it's one of the very few Latafa fragrances that actually has like a heavy cap. And it's also one of the cheapest one. And so just to give you... An overview, obviously we are in that time of the season where Oud Mood is definitely going to shine. If you live in colder climates, then this is absolutely the perfect autumn winter fragrance for you. And it is so affordable. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on private sellers' websites. You can get it pretty easy and also pretty cheap. So you probably won't need my help with this one. But so, but yeah, vanilla, praline, Oud, um, what else? Sandalwood, Woody Accords, Cinnamon, Saffron, you know, Rose, giving all, all of that and some more. And I, I do already have a dedicated video to Oud Mood, so I'm not going to go too much into it, but I absolutely love this fragrance. And it's actually very interesting wearing this fragrance in a hotter climate because when I first tried Oud Mood, I actually tried it when I was back home in the UK in the colder weather and it performed absolutely amazing. And it still does in the hot weather. So really and truly, you can't go wrong with this. So yeah, it's me, by the tap one. Okay, guys. So the next fragrance that I'm going to talk to you about, again, another 
firm favorite not just for me but for a lot of people here in the fragrance community magic owl sultan you just can't go wrong it's spicy it's smoky it's a little bit sweet if you haven't already got it make sure that you do because you're missing out this is called majazi by latafa guys first can we just talk about how stunning the bottle is let's get into that first of all and this this fragrance is class and elegance in a bottle i said it and if i could do a mic drop and just drop this 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 thing and just go i would because this is just i don't even know how to even where do we start okay so it's definitely like a sweet floral scent it's not overly floral but it's not overly fruity i think it's just like a sweet touch um it's got some form of like woody accords in the back back there's no oud here it just oh, if you love a floral scent you're going to love this and the thing is i don't even like floral scents and i really like this so it's this fragrance is definitely leaning to a more like someone in their late 20s upwards. I can't see someone like my little sister who's like in her her teens like rocking something like this. And this screams almost, I don't want to say like black tie, but it's one of those like clean fragrances. So it's like if you've got like a nice crisp white shirt on, you know, Libra but not the intense version where it's sort of like a clean version you wear it with a crisp white shirt and it just just smells like you look if that makes any sense so the same thing this goes perfectly on a crisp white shirt or like if you're going out for a nice dinner in the evening but you're like a bit more dressed up, like just giving like a classy vibe, a very classic, a very simple, a very chic vibe. This is what this fragrance is all about. Um, this definitely, I want to say it's like medium projection. It's not, it doesn't like, it's not a powerhouse or anything like that. And I don't know why I'm sitting like this. It's so uncomfortable. Okay, let me move back. There we go. Oh, it's a little bit better now. <laughs> so yeah, this fragrance, I'm definitely going to do a an independent review on this because i was shocked i think the first two reviews that i saw on this like some people just weren't like sure about how they felt about the fragrance and then i then had a bit more you know encouragement from top looks by top hair from um a fragrance glance loridana and there was one other lady i'll find her and i'll probably pop her details below but um, and then also see Chronicles, they were very firm as to the fact that it's not nice. And I need, I need affirming answers. I don't like wishy-washy, like, is it nice? Should I spend my money on it? Will I smell, you know, just buff? Like, will I smell and that's good? literally all I really care about, really. <laughs> and of course, it's less taffa, so it's very, very affordable. So then we then move on to another one that again hardly has any reviews on and of course all the ones that there are not that many reviews on them online i'll definitely do my bit in adding to the portfolio so i will do like a more individual video on each one but the next one is called sir al malika so yeah sir al malika again gorgeous gorgeous bottle and literally this is the only one where i kept the packaging because the packaging looked so nice so i'll show you so basically it came in this box which I think is really, really nice. You push this open for it to like reveal that. And then like in there is where like the fragrance like literally like sits in this little nook thing. And then on top of that, it also came with like all the, all the notes of the different fragrances, which is always really helpful because sometimes you just can't find them anywhere, can you? But other than that, let's get into the smell. Again, like the bottle, you know, it's nice, very lit up. Okay, I'm gonna have to spray this one on because I can't. Okay, this one definitely has that sort of like tangerine and floral with a little bit of sort of sweetness in the background. 
Oh yeah, okay. And then as it kind of dries down, it becomes a bit more resinous and a little bit more intense, but not intense in a like loud way. Intense as in like the the flavors, the um the notes become a bit more concentrated. So when you first spray it, it kind of gives a fresh vibe, and then as it dries down, it kind of becomes a little bit more like resinous and a bit more juicy. I'm here for it. Again, you'll get the floral note all the way through it and then like a slight airiness and a slight sweetness from like like the tangerine-y, I don't know. I, I don't have the notes, but when I do a more detailed review on this, I'll give you the breakdown of the notes and basically what it's like. But this is a definite thumbs up for me. From the packaging to the presentation to the smell, I'm yet to like test them out for a long amount of time, so I can't give you anything on longevity right about now. And then last but not least, last but not least, we have Gade, Gade, Gade. Again, another fragrance that I have hardly seen any reviews on. And this is definitely, this is one of those fragrances. Okay, this is not a, bl um, a blind buy. This is not blind buy appropriate. I don't think everybody is going to like this fragrance. It's like floral, It's got like a weird sweetness to it. I don't really explain it. I don't know how to explain it. And the floral in here is like a green, grassy kind of floral. Um, it's fresh, but not fresh. It's floral, but not really that floral. And it's just a little bit touch of sweetness, but it's just the sweetness that helps tie in everything together. But this is like a green fragrance. And I didn't think I was gonna like it, but Again, another one like of those that as it settles, you kind of get the woody chords and the floral side of things kind of stays with it all the way through. So again, I think if you don't really like floral scents, you may not like this one. And also, if you don't really like green notes and things that smell like grass, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, you probably won't like this either. So I would always say definitely get a a sample of this before um, purchasing because so there you have it guys these are all the fragrances that I picked up from Latafa if you've tried any of these and I definitely want to know your thoughts please sound off in the comment box below and if you are yet to try it to let me know which one it is that you're most intrigued by and of course if you haven't join the family yet then all you have to do is click that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video from me but in the meantime thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye